Hi guys, in this issue, we are visiting the state of Queensland, the city of Cairns, the place where the Great Barrier Reef is located and we will see it. We will also visit tropical forests and meet crocodiles. This is a place that will surprise you because it is Australia. We look at the ocean and ask ourselves, where is it? There is no ocean because the water has moved away from the shore. And crocodiles live here in such swamps. And far away there is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, which stretches over 1,000 kilometers. And we want to get there to the Great Barrier Reef. Let's go see this city of Cairns with us. Like and subscribe to the channel now. We move to the central part of the city to the pool. I will tell you why all the people relax here and why people don't swim in the ocean. Because crocodiles live everywhere here and for your and our safety they made a pool where adults and children can relax. My recommendations. When you arrive in the city of Cairns, be sure to ask for recommendations on where to swim and where not. Because a crocodile can eat you and bite you from poisonous jellyfish. Good morning friends. Today we are going to visit a green island in the middle of the ocean, among coral reefs. We will sail on this boat. The time will take 45 minutes. The cost of a ticket to the green island is $130. largest coral reef, which is located in the Pacific Ocean. The range contains more than 2,900 individual coral reefs and 900 islands in the Coral Sea. The Great Barrier Reef stretches along the northeastern coast of Australia for 2,500 kilometers. The Great Barrier Reef is the largest natural feature on Earth formed by living organisms and can be seen from space. Guys, we reached the Great Barrier Reef of Australia and we dreamed for a very long time to visit the barrier reef. Today we swam in the ocean. We saw big fish, a turtle, and most importantly the great barrier reef. These are amazing corals. There are many small big fish, colorful fish. It's a pleasure to see such beauty. the glass floor. Look at the people. How they carefully look at the coral reef and the fish. This is an amazing place to visit. We recommend sailing on a boat with a transparent bottom. Friends, we rented a car in Cairns and are now on our way to see tropical forest and waterfalls. Now we will show you this beauty. We arrived in the tropical forest. We will show now you an amazing tree called fig tree. The curtain fig tree is of the strangler fig species Ficus virens. Normally these figs germinate on top of another tree and try to grow roots into the ground. 
Once this important step is accomplished, the fig will grow vigorously, finally kill the hosting tree and then grow on independently. Far North Queensland's famous Curtin Fig Tree is located in a Curtin Fig National Park about 1 km north of the town of Yungabora on the Atherton Tableland. It is estimated by the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service to be at least 500 years old. Now we will visit the waterfalls. The first waterfall is called Milla Milla. Milla Milla Falls are magnificent waterfalls surrounded by lush rainforests located on the waterfall circuit, along with Zilli and Ellinja Falls. The falls cascade perfectly to a pristine waterhole below where you can enjoy a refreshing swim in the cool water. There's also a lovely grassy picnic area for you to relax. Milla Milla Falls are one of the most photographed in all of Australia, so make sure you bring your camera. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of a platypus. We arrived at the second waterfall, called Zilli. There are few tourists here because you have to go down here. Zilli Falls are spectacular falls located on the waterfall circuit with Milla Milla and Ellinja Falls. There is a lovely viewing platform at the base of the falls where you can enjoy a view of the cascading water and rapids. It's a wonderful place to enjoy a picnic lunch or simply relax and enjoy the beautiful surroundings. A colony of flying foxes are often spotted near the car park, so keep your eyes out. We go down to the third Ellinger Waterfall, a picturesque waterfall that is part of a chain of waterfalls along with Milla Milla and Zali Waterfalls. These three waterfalls are nearby. A 200-meter path leads to the foot of the waterfall, where turtles and platypuses can often be seen. The waterfall is a great place for swimming. Good morning. Yesterday we slept in this beautiful place. We arrived at this hotel very late because yesterday we were near three waterfalls and spent the whole day there. And today we are going to look further into Australia, the state of Queensland. Welcome to Karanda, village in the rainforest. The picturesque mountain retreat of Karanda village is just 25 kilometers northwest of Cairns in far north Queensland, Australia. Surrounded by the world's oldest living tropical rainforest, the colorful village of Karanda is well known as the village in the rainforest attracting visitors for well over a century. Come for a day, or stay for the weekend, and explore our beautiful little village. The Barren River dominates the park. Rising from the rainforest of Mount Hypipami National Park, the river winds 60 kilometers across the Atherton Tableland through one of Australia's highest rainforest belts. The river then enters the deeply incised Barren Gorge, which forms a rugged, twisting trough between the McAllister and Lamb Ranges. The river falls 250 meters onto the narrow coastal lowlands and flows to the Coral Sea, just north of the Cairns Airport. During the wetter months, floodwaters regularly create a spectacular sight at Barren Falls. before one of the tourist towns, Port Douglas. Port Douglas is a coastal town and locality in the Shire of Douglas, Queensland, Australia, approximately 60 kilometers north of Cairns. Port Douglas had a population of 3,500 people. 
the town's population can often double, however, with the influx of tourists during the peak tourism season from May to September. The town is named in honor of a former premier of Queensland, John Douglas. Port Douglas developed quickly based on the mining industry. Other parts of the area were established with timber cutting in the areas surrounding the Daintree River and with settlements starting on lots around the Mossman River by 1880. We have arrived at a very interesting place where there are more than 200 crocodiles. This place is called Hartley's Crocodile Adventures. We will now go and see this cool place with you. Hartley's Creek Crocodile Adventures is an eco-tourism award-winning accredited tourist attraction that has been created on a 10-hectare World Heritage Site just 40 minutes north of Cairns, Queensland, Australia Cairns and 15 minutes drive north of Palm Cove and 20 minutes south of Port Douglas a relaxing scenic drive for the family along the coastline at the foothills of the Mac Allister Ranges. Having visited this park with crocodiles, we recommend checking it out. There are a lot of crocodiles in this park, a great show and something to see. Look behind me at this crocodile, how big it is, 6 meters long and weighing 700 kilograms. Do you still want to swim in the ocean where there are crocodiles? I hope not. Friends, our journey has come to an end. Cairns is a place in the northern part of the Australian state of Queensland. This is an amazing place to visit. Please write what you liked best about this video. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.